got this in the mail today. Kind of happy about it. Let's see. Time to open it and see what's inside of this box. I know I can't do it one handed, so see you in a second. And this is what was inside the box the 118th scale fire horse. Gonna try this one out. See how well it does. This is just the outer sleeve on the box. Try to get this pulled out here. Oh, this is going to take two hands, I think. I'm never going to get that out. Nope. Let's see if it works this way. Hey, look at that. Use the weight of it. It's out. So, a lot of stuff here. Well, we ain't reading all that stuff right now, are we? I don't do that. Somebody else has already done that. Read all of this stuff on here. Let's see what's inside the box. Let's see in here. Let's see, we got the instruction manual, and that came in the other box. So let's see what comes in this box. How do we get this open? All right. Well, I'm going to figure out how to open this up and I'll be right back. Yeah, that was a little difficult. That took two hands to pry that open. That box is definitely sealed shut good. It has a little lip here and a little lip up in here to seal it all together. So that's kind of cool. The transmitter came with this on it. There you go. It's a little tiny guy. All the stuff on top here. A little programmable section. Okay, all your normal trims. Uh, steering reverse and throttle reverse buttons on either side there. On and off button. Okay, what's there? Ah, another little USB charger. And the truck. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, come on out. Hey. That's pretty cool looking. Let's uh, move the box here out of the way. Got your little mirrors, a snorkel. Not too bad. Eh? That's an actual spare tire on the back. A real usable tire. Tail lights. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Now let's figure out how to get inside of it. It says the body doesn't come off. There's a whole bunch of little screws, but it says the hood comes up. Oh, would you look at that? And there it is, everything inside here. Little battery back here. Let's see if I can get that to pop out. Ooh, that's not going to be easy, is it? Oh, there we go. Ooh, tiny, tiny little battery. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting. Hey, <laughs> what's this tech down in here? Uh, an on-off switch. Cool. There you go, little hood hinges. Where to plug it in. It looks like all the lights. There's other things here, a bunch of wires everywhere. We'll see what all that does, huh? 
Got to get a charge on this battery, and we'll be back. Okay, the battery is charged and back in. That is quite a little shove in there. We got the batteries up in the handle of the controller. Wow, that thing is just small. Look at that. My hand covers up almost the whole thing. Anyways, we set this to have some drag brake and that stuff. Fun, fun. So we took it off of beginner mode. I guess you hold channel 4 for 3 seconds to do that. I think we did. And that's turned on. Let's turn on the truck. Woohoo! Lights! I saw some lights flash. Oops, I'm not sticking up here with the camera very good, am I? Okay. Oh, there are headlights. And tail lights. Yeah. Oh my goodness, a blinker. Look at that when you turn. Oh, that's awesome, a blinker when you turn. Ah, that's great. How about the back? Oh, yes. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that sweet? That is so cool. I love that, man. Yeah, I love that. And I love this real spare tire. That, that's, a, that's actually, you can mount it on the truck. That is awesome. It's got the full interior in here. I need to get, well, you have to take off all these little screws. I believe that's how you get the body off. Somewhere in there, like back here, there's a bunch of screws. I don't know if you can actually see them in there or not. I'm trying to get good lighting, but let's see. Anyways, you see those little tiny screws back there? That's how you take the body off, as far as I can tell. Everything that I found says there's no way to take the body off. So I'm going to have to figure that out if I want to put a driver in it. Oh, and also, when I got the charger out, there was a tire piece, a wheel piece in there, a wheel tool. That's pretty cool. It actually crawls fairly good. That's pretty good. Oops, I twitched it backwards. <laughs> Sensitive trigger. Now, let's do a little comparison here. Set it next to the Traxxas, my only other 18th scale. And you know, I'd say they're pretty close. So, this is going to be cool. Yeah, Traxxas, plastic real tire huh well you know that's pretty cool I had the buy lights for the Traxxas and then you know I mean of course we all know a Traxxas controller is huge if we pair them up here for a second and move the trucks over <laughs> Yeah, there's a little bitty difference there, huh? Just a nitty bitty difference. But these things, they look pretty close. I mean, the Bronco would be smaller in real life, too. So, they're just about the same size. I love that it's got lights. Now we got to get them out on the course outside here and test them both out.
Okay, so a little bit top heavy, but not too bad. That is hitting that bumper pretty dang hard. <laughs> nope, it doesn't want to do it. Just a little bit too much. Yeah, the Traxxas does it. Sucked up the stick in the back tires. They're sticky, all right. Yeah, the Traxxas has lots of upgrades. Brass links, heavy wheels, super sticky tires. So it should be able to do better, but I don't really think it is. Seems to be doing just about the same. fire hose. Okay. Let's test side-by-side -side speed. <laughs> oh, the Traxxas kills it. Traxxas is quieter, too. Hear that? Traxxas doesn't have blinkers. Nothing for the Traxxas, eh? I had to buy the light kit for the Traxxas, too. They didn't come with it. The fire horse came with all this. Blinkers and everything. That's awesome. Okay. Well, there's your side-by-side. -side. We'll have to get them out somewhere other than my little crawler course here and try them out. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.